It was a London Xboxers Association, mm. Libra. It was a golf day and the room was full of world champions, European champions, British champions, Commonwealth champions, journeymen. It was full of the toughest men on the planet. I was privileged to be there in such illustrious company. I was there with two of my friends, Paul Norton and Dave Lovell, two ex-fighters. And we were watching Sir Henry Cooper host the event, God rest Sir Henry, and Michael Watson. Anyway, Sir Henry Cooper said there's a young fighter in the room, he said, who suffered the same horrific injuries that Michael Watson suffered. I think the boxer's name was Mark Colt. He'd won the Central Area title after 10 rounds. He'd went to the dressing room. He collapsed in the dressing room. He had a bleeding on the brain and he suffered the same injuries that Michael suffered. Well, they called the boy to the microphone to take an applause and he walked the room with his mother and father either side of him. And every step, every step he took, you could see the determination in his face. Every step, every step was so hard for the boy to take a step. It took him five minutes, maybe 10 minutes to get to the microphone, but his mother and father walking either side of him and a room full of fighters willing him on. And as he walked to the microphone, to Sir Henry Cooper and to Michael Watson, Michael Watson took the microphone and he said, warrior, every man and woman in that room held back their tears. Cause please believe me, if one person had cried, I was holding back tears. I was willing this man to take these steps. I remember as it was yesterday. Anyway, he got to the microphone. His mother took the microphone. Mark couldn't speak, he was paralyzed and um, he'd suffered these horrific injuries. But his mother took the microphone and she said to Michael Watson, from the bottom of our hearts, Michael, she said, I want to thank you because my boy suffered the same injuries that you suffered. And they told him that he would never walk again. But because you walked, you've inspired him to walk and he will talk again. She said, he will talk again because you've talked and he will talk again. He has drawn inspiration from you. And it was so beautiful to hear this boy's mother speaking like that. It was so beautiful to be in the presence of a man with such courage to walk. Like I said, when they told him he'd never walk again, but he was drawing inspiration from Michael Watson. And I told Michael after that, I just got to speak to Michael. I said, do you know something? That was one man that you know that you've inspired. You've touched the hearts and the souls of so many people around the world to give them the determination to walk to achieve something when the odds were against them and they told they'll never walk again and you did it Michael and, and, and you'll, you'll make other people achieve what you've achieved and me and him have become great friends mm -hmm. but um, he's an amazing man Michael Watson, an amazing man, mm -hmm. could have been world champion.